Hello guys, welcome back to playing with Ragged Boy, and today I'm back on Star Brown. Da -da -da. Uh so Rags, our glitch, who is a robot who had come from his home planet and he was kicked off because of he he had gained an artificial intelligence. And they didn't like that, so they kicked him off. They just said, you know what, you need to leave this planet. And now we're here. Okay, well no, I wanna be, whoops. Let's stay on the, uh, the, uh, we need to stay on the bow and arrow. Wow, I had a complete loss of words there. <laughs> okay. This is the new planet, right? Okay, where's my... Don't. If you're a jerk. You're a jerk! You spit blood at me. Air blood vomit. That sounds like a great attack. Okay. <coughs> uh... Nope, don't remember that. That, nope. Nobody wants to remember that ever again. Didn't I have... Oh, I guess it was just a pickaxe I had. I thought I made an axe. But maybe I didn't, so... Oh. Okay. Uh... It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Let's not be here at this planet, because... Not very good for my health. <clears throat> okay, so while we're waiting, uh, Starbound Survival Guide, A Glitch Journey Begins. Let's read this. Read selected. Wow, I completely missed that. As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, you were forced to flee your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Not really anymore. Being an outcast of an unsympathetic unsympath territory is hard. Being an outcast stuck in space is even harder, you find. But with self-awareness comes self-preservation. No longer tied to the hive mind, you have the capability to think independently. And get yourself, wow, uh, I didn't know what to say there, and get yourself out of this mess, at least in theory. It is time to find out just how useful sentient thought can be. That is about it. A glitch introduction. Created by a mysterious race, the Glitch were designed to serve a single purpose, a race controlled by a single hive mind, tireless workers who could build and create critical, just critical. Uh, <coughs> I don't understand that. Just critical. Okay. And then this. Uh, the Glitch were left to expand and evolve, eventually deconstructing themselves to discover that they were artificial. Well, that sucks. That would suck just to figure out one day, oh wait, I'm not real, I'm just made. Glitch understanding of the world led to the realization that an artificial species must have a creator. Skeptical, this discovery triggered self-awareness in the glitch. Some accepted their role in the universe, others began to question it. Melancholy, this caused much civil turmoil, which lasted hundreds of years. As such, the glitch failed to evolve beyond basic construction abilities. The glitch experiment was abandoned, and the species was left to fend for itself. Outcast no more. Relieved, severed from the glitch hive mind, I feel more liberated than I ever have. Concerned. So I'm guessing these are just, it's like telling me the emotions it's having since it's a robot. I guess that makes sense. But I am alone. Hopefully there are others like me out there. Positive. I know I will find them. Curious. But now I can think for myself. Something bothers me. Reflective. Who created us? Where do we come from? What are we? Determined. Perhaps on my journey I will find the answers. Determined. After I find fuel. Control yourself. As you navigate through the galaxy, control yourself. Oh, I already know how to do this. Okay. Now that we're here, let's head down to the planet below. 
Okay. So it looks like it just became daytime. Either that, or it's just about to come nighttime, which would suck. Oh, a chest. Wow. How convenient. Uh, some kiwi seeds. And a red stim pack, which can be used as health. So that's good. Um, so I, there's, uh, when you're flying around, there's, uh, different level planets in different sectors. The further away the sector is, the more dangerous the planet is. So eventually it'll get to the point where you want to have some nice armor and things like that, so that once you get to that planet, you don't die immediately. Because that's not really good. Uh, I prefer not to die a lot, so... Oculum and seeds. Okay, so we have a crafting table, so I should be able to craft my uh, stone axe as soon as I get some more stone, which is down here. Thank you. The gravity's a bit annoying on this planet, though. Okay, I'll place you, and ooh, okay. Looks like we have some capsules with some pixels and things like that in it. And while I'm chopping down these vines, I can also at the same time chop down like some of the cobblestone around and all that, which is nice. There we go. Fibers so we can make bandage. Okay. I don't know how friendly that guy was. I think he was there last episode. And, I, as far as I remember, I thought they attacked, so... Can I break this background? That's strange. I don't think that's how it works when you're underground. <laughs> so, do you actually need to put... Like, sun... Or, do you have to actually use torches? Or can you just, like, break it like that and then have light? Because it looks like I could just do that if I wanted. Okay, that's silver right there, and it looks like I'm not able to break that quite yet. Come on. Break. So again, listen to this music. It's pretty nice. I mean, what the heck? What is that? What in the world? Oh, it's a guy. Oh, gosh, it's a guy. Uh, he's gonna kill me. He will kill me. Let's not be here. Oh, I remember this now. There was a guy over here that was hurting me before. Uh. Is this all they were protecting? Seriously? I'll take this well. That looks nice. Uh, is this poisonous water? No. Okay. And can I take this stone, too? Is it stone? Yeah, but it looks like it doesn't break very easily, so let's leave that. I don't really want those chains. That wouldn't very... That wouldn't do very well in my house. Okay, we'll have to harvest this later. I want to use these. Oh. What is this? A mossy platform. Oh! Ooh, okay, there's some lava and there's also some bad guys. I can't shoot him. Ah, okay. Oh! You got a gun. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just jumped in the lava, idiot. Can I shoot you? Hey! Oh, oh, I melted. Well, we both died. So I guess that's not as bad as it could have been. Because we both didn't make it through that. We need to go back in there, though. I want to figure out some stuff. I want to see what's in there. Let's get my weapon out. And actually, what I want to do is I want to switch this and this so that I can switch between my bow and my hammer. 
So it'd be a lot easier to maneuver that way. So I can immediately go into melee if I need to. Which is useful, because... I mean, I think if I went into melee with the... Oh, wow, that was smart. Whoops! Uh, <laughs> I'll have to try that again. <laughs> I forgot about the lava. Well, we just lost another, like, 16 or 65 pixels, but... Oh, wow. Well. It's not that hard to get them at the moment. Okay, so this stone, I'm assuming we might need like an iron pick to get this stuff, so. Don't understand why these people. Oh! Took falling damage. Okay. There we go. Oh! Why is the gravity so different in here? Okay, uh. Take my inventory. Uh, check this. Let's see what this does. I think it heals me. Oh, regeneration. Okay. And then if I take a bandage, healing minor wounds. And that should heal me straight up. Okay, so what are you? Burning coals. And these are just bones, I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, this doesn't look like a very friendly place. I like how the mute. Oh! Ooh. It actually makes the crushing bone sound. That's. Ooh! That's a cool gate. I'll probably pick that up at some point. Oh, hey, 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 Die. Oh, ooh, ah, 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 no. Okay, probably shouldn't come back here. Uh, let's head back down anyways, because, uh, we need to go find some more resources, and I want to head off in this direction still. Does this give off light, maybe? I wonder. If it gives off light, we could probably just place that, and... Since they're burning coals, I would think they would give us, like, they would give off heat, too, which we could use if we were... Okay, are you... No, okay, you're sure. Let's pull out my hammer. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Okay, you jerk. You wanna play? Now you're dead, so... Yep. Uh, so, again, uh... Again? Nope, not again. Uh, I didn't say anything about that before. Yeah, the gravity is extremely different here. Okay, and then the gravity just changes there, too back up a little bit. That should have hit him right in the face. Oh, the arrow actually does damage to the block too. That's cool. Okay. Die. If I could get your weapon. Do you want to do this right now? No, don't. Triple hop, that's an attack. Or is the charge the attack? There you go, you're dead. Okay, where did that guy go? Let's go find him again. I don't want to deal with you birds. Just be nice. Die. You're still eating the grass in your life, so that may not have been the best choice right there. Die. Oh, that was a complete fail. Okay. Hit him. You're nice. 
Okay, so, now that we've taken care of those guys, we can probably harvest some of this cobble. So, if I remember correctly, there was a way to make a lantern. And you could use the lantern to also make a lantern on a stick, which you could put on your back and carry it around. And it gave off light. So, I would like to be able to make one of those. Oh, you fell the other way. It didn't look like you were gonna go that way. Okay. Well, let's pull out the crafting table. Or the second crafting table I have. I actually had two. Put you down. See? Uh, okay, let's make some wooden planks. An alien woodworm. Okay, I knew you were gonna come do that. Uh, give me a second, sir. Give me a second. There you go. Happy friends. Uh, okay, so let's. Whoops. Let's see if these coals give off light. Er, well, they're probably gonna give off light. I mean, heat. It looks like they give off heat, too. Okay. That's nice. Okay, so... Let's make a stone axe. And I can't get the molten core yet. I don't know how to get that. Wooden fence. A heart forge. Iron lantern. Okay, I think we need to make an iron lantern. So right now we can't do that. Can I make... Yes, I can make a campfire. C... Oops. I, I mean, uh, and then we can take these coals. Let's move the coals out of the inventory. We'll put you here. And I think, can I put copper in this? No. I can only put the meat in it. So let's put the meat in and cook the meat up. And then use the crafting table again. Metal workstation. Do we just have a regular furnace? Oh, here we go. Stone furnace. A campfire? Hey, campfire. How you doing? Uh, cook. Okay, that's cooked. We'll pick you back up. And then... Where is the furnace? Okay, stone furnace. Take this stone. Oh! Awesome, about time we play with fire. Okay, next we need to get some armor so let's go get some we have a little bit of iron so let's mess around with that where okay six iron ore and I think every two is an iron bar and we can also ooh wait I forgot we had this gold ore And we can smelt up the silver, too, which we had managed to pick up. And I think, other than the copper, that's it. Oh, I forgot we had a med kit. Okay. A distress beacon. Well, before we do that, we probably want to get the uh, iron and stuff, so... And let's go into the inventory one more time. Move these seeds out of the way and get out. What did I do? Oh, F1. Okay, and use this axe to chop down the tree. Oh, much faster, much, much faster. Okay, that's it. Pick up all of this wood. And... That should do, uh, chuck down one more tree. 
And you can see the asteroid field back there, which is nice. Okay, so the heat, our heat is uh, pretty good, so we can stay outside for a little while. Can I get to my weapon, please? I see, this is the problem I had last time, and I don't understand how you get it to... I don't understand, uh, and then when you get to here, now it says left. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Pull out the flashlight. What's down here? Ooh. Capsule. No, this is just extremely annoying. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull out the hammer and just put it in here. Okay, where the heck did I fall down to? Okay, this is hard to figure out where I am. So... Ooh, well, now I know where I am. I'm on fire. That sucks. Okay, well... Ooh, did I pick up the furnace? I didn't. No, no, I did. Okay, good. I already have some cooked meat, too. Okay. And let's see. How much does it take to build an iron lantern? Oh, I can go ahead and build an iron lantern right now. And then lantern on a stick. Does not appear to be in the recipes. A snowball. Oh, I have snow. I forgot about that. A simple iron lantern. So... There we go. Iron Lantern. I think this is what you have to use. Ooh, wooden cooking table. Okay. That looks interesting. I cannot find that. Okay, so I don't know what to do there. One, two, three, four, five, craft, 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 craft. Just craft thirty. So we'll make a wooden cooking table. And then we can pull that out of our inventory. There's nope, that's the well. Okay, here's the wooden cooking table. Put that down. Oh, nice. That's cool. Okay. And then, let's come over and look at this again. Wooden support. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know what I... <laughs> what do I... At some point in the game, you're supposed to be able to make it, but I don't know how you do that anymore. And what does the distress signal cost? Okay, that costs more than what we have. That cost. Oh, that costs just iron bars. Okay. Well, we should probably go down and get some cobble and things, so... Okay. Hey, it's morning. Your blood will appease our lords. That sounds friendly. Jerk. Jerk. Die. Okay, he's dead now. Don't have to worry about you anymore, because you're dead. Take that. 
And is this silver? It might be silver. Which is annoying to mine with this stone pickaxe, but I think we can pick it up. Yeah, it is silver. Okay. I heard something that didn't sound very nice. I don't know what's nice and what's not nice in this game, but it didn't sound very friendly. Ah, uh, where's my flashlight? Oh, fish. Are they nice? They appear to be nice. Okay. Oh, some coal. Should probably pick that up. And I think as soon as we get... I don't know how much coal you actually need, but... Eventually, we should be able to leave the planet and head out to maybe another solar system, which would be nice. Because this planet seems to be... Oh, uh, hi. What are you things? I don't know what you are. Okay. We'll make some coal. Or, uh, not some coal. We'll make some torches. I'm not actually underwater yet, am I? Wow, this is easy to mine. Okay. I feel like we should be able to use this gravel for something. Or at least we can use it to... Kind of get around, so... Let's pick up a bunch of this gravel. And hopefully it's not like Minecraft where you suffocate if you're underneath it. Which I don't understand whether or not glitches need to breathe. Because we are robots, so if we go underwater, how can we have oxygen? Like, oxygen shouldn't be a problem because we're robots. That's something I don't really understand. I think if you're the fish thing that we saw as an option to play as, uh, you don't have to breathe, or at least you don't have uh, to breathe as quickly. Like he, it's, you don't have to get out of the water so quickly. You can stand your water longer than pretty much every other race. But then the avians, the they're the the bird ones that. They don't take falling damage. Uh, the glitch, I think they mine faster, which is what we're doing right now. And we don't run out of energy as fast. Which is what the uh, guns and the... Uh, oh, ooh. Okay, I was scared there because I thought we were going to fall to our death or something. And now we have the artificial gravity of this building, which is very annoying. Do they have people in there? They do. They trap people. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. Maybe we can break them out. Yeah, those aren't... Doesn't look like they're having fun in there. Let's break out through the wall. And then... They have a fountain? Okay, this wall is going to be hard to break through. Let's not try to do that right now. We'll go back for them later, though. Because we can't leave them there to just be stuck in a jail. Unless they are on the bad guy's side, which would be a problem. Because as soon as we get in there, they're going to attack us at that point. Not like anyone else. Okay, wait. I want to try something. Wait. This is gravel. It shouldn't be floating. I'm not going to mine that quite yet because I want to be able to get this iron. But as soon as I mine that, I think it all falls down. and That'll be fun to watch because of the way the uh, gravel works in this game. It's like uh, water. So that, okay, there we go. We've got a good amount of iron, so by the end of this, we should be able to make an anvil and a distress beacon. And I think the the distress beacon requires one silver, which we can use at because we already have that. 
Okay, this mining is a little annoying. Yeah, it looks like as soon as we get rid of the support underneath the gravel, it's gonna fall. So... There we go, pick up some more coal. And then we can pick up that coal over there, and it should just drain the gravel right out of the bottom of that. So if we do that right there, it shouldn't start making the gravel fall. Yep, that's exactly what it's going to do. Okay. Well, let's take that, and then there we go. Yeah, that is fun to watch. Okay. <laughs> that, that's fun to watch. Uh, just the gravel is all sliding down like water. See, look what it does. It's just trying to find a place to settle in. Okay, uh... I think we found a good amount of materials. Wow, that the gravity is just changing, like, wherever you go. Oh, I can't fit through there? It looks like I can. I guess, I mean... Apparently I can't bend down or bend over or something, but... It's nighttime, isn't it? It sounds like nighttime music. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. Let's go. Okay, now, uh, let's find the furnace. Place you there. And then use you to smelt all of this iron. 42 iron, which will leave us with a good amount. And then, uh, the copper and the coal can go right into our fuel. Or at least most of it. And now, let's see if we can go anywhere. Okay. Snow arid. Let's not go to desert. That doesn't sound very nice. Yeah! That used actually quite a bit of fuel. But, we're going somewhere. Okay, I'll take all of that iron. And then we can smelt up this copper. Now let's see, can we make the, uh, we can make an anvil. Where's that? Okay, iron anvil. And then, press I. There's the anvil. And we have some silver ore too. Put that down. Ooh. Weapons. Weaponry and iron hunting bow. That uses a lot of uh, materials, though. We'll get back to that iron hunting bow. Right now, I want to see if I can make this distress beacon. Distress beacon, it requires copper and some silver, which we do have. I don't know how if, if we have enough copper, though. It seems like we don't have enough of that copper. Okay, and now, uh, just to finish off the episode, we can head down onto this new planet. Wow. This is completely different than the other. I mean, look at the tree. It's like missing bark or something. Uh, are you friendly? Hi! Oh, okay, you're not friendly. I thought you were. I guess not, though. That doesn't sound friendly, either. Yep, they're not friendly, either. Okay, that sucks. Thank you for your pixels, though. Do I not have any torches? I don't have any torches. Okay, so we're gonna craft some torches, then. I still want to figure out how to get that, uh, lantern on a stick, because it's a very useful tool. Okay, no. Don't be a jerk. I'm assuming you're friendly, at least. Well, let's head back up to the 
Well, first, actually, before we do that, let's see, is this sand? Dry sand, okay. Well, guys, I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment, and I shall see you next time.